I've got a confession. I've never actually drawn a Marvel superhero before. Like, ever. Even just superheroes in general, I never really drew as a kid, because I was always more into anime and manga, so I kind of never really checked out comics that much. But that's about to change, because in this video, I'm going to attempt to draw the amazing Spider-Man. So wish me luck, and let's see how it turns out. Oh, shit! So I'm starting out by just doing a really rough sketch to kind of figure out the proportions. I'm not too worried about it. It's a bit off, but I can refine that as I go and just fix it up a little bit. The head was a bit off, a bit big, and it kind of looked a bit whack. But it's okay because I'm going to go back in and fix that all later. So it's time to start inking. I slowly grab my pen, shaking slightly with anticipation. I calm myself, ready for the task ahead, and begin. Now that I'm doing the line work, I can really fix up any mistakes that I might have made in the sketch, and just refine it even more so it looks a bit more detailed and a bit more accurate to what it should look like. I make sure to put in lots of detail when it comes to the face and eyes because that's what people are going to look at. So make sure to take your time with it and don't rush. And now that I'm done with the inking, I can erase the sketch underneath and we're ready to start colouring. Softly but firmly, stroke your Copics across the paper. Their tips abundantly moist with alcohol and ink. Ah, oh, exquisite. I'm adding in some highlights with the white gel pen to really give it a 3D look and make it look like Spider-Man's just popping off the page right at you. It's the little details like this that just finish off a drawing really well and I think it turned out really nice. So smash that like button if you learnt something new in this video and hit subscribe if you want to see more amazing content like this. Okay, now that that really cringy intro is out of the way, we can get on to the actual drawing. I recorded that a couple of hours ago and it seemed really funny to me, and then I just rewatched it just then, and I don't know what I was thinking. That was really embarrassing, and I'm sorry. I would say I won't do it again, but I probably will. That's just my sense of humour. But if you made it this far, through all that cringe, props to you, I'll try to make it up to you by doing a cool ass drawing, maybe giving some tips and just talking about some of the process because I haven't really done that in a video for like, I don't even know, two or three years I've been doing so many creepypasta videos. I never really talk about the art process and I know some of you guys would be interested in that. So I feel like mixing it up a little bit. That was kind of the idea of this video just in general. I wanted to mix it up with the drawing, the art style, the commentary, and just do something different because I've been doing the same thing for like three years straight and I feel like I need to expand a bit more as an artist. So I'm going to be trying some new things coming forward with the channel. Don't worry if you still like the horror creepypasta videos, I'm going to continue to make them, but I want to kind of space it out a bit more, do some different content, have fun and grow as an artist. That sounds really inspirational except for I'm sounding really monotone and tired because it's 11pm, it's been a long day, I just got back from the gym, and I'm actually tired, so I apologise if I sound really monotone and uninterested. I am interested, I'll try and amp it up a little bit. Someone get me a coffee! Oh my god. <clears throat> Shit. <laughs>
Oh my god, I nearly choked. <sighs> Let's go! I definitely found this drawing quite challenging. There was a couple different reasons for that. Namely, me being shit at drawing. <laughs> Just kidding. Hopefully. Do you, do you like my drawing? Please like my drawings. I did this piece quite small. It's half an A... Half an A what? It's an A5. That's a smaller than A4. It's half of an A4, so it's an A5. I think that's how it works. It was a small piece of paper, is what I'm trying to say. I'm just struggling because I don't seem to be able to speak English at the moment for some reason. It was kind of hard to get some of the smaller details in. Spider-Man with his webbing on his outfit was a little bit hard. I could have done it better, but I was trying to do it kind of quick. I didn't want to spend too long on this piece. Something I want to work on moving forward is doing more sketchy stuff. So drawings which I can do a lot quicker, so I can do more of them. I spend a lot of time on most of my artworks. I feel like it kind of limits me because I spend like a whole week on a new piece. I want to be able to smash out some drawings in one session or in a few hours, that type of thing, because I feel like I'll be able to get more practice in. And that's what I really like about the comic style. They have all the cross hatching, really cool shadows, and I feel like I can really improve on my art if I loosen up a little bit. I'm going in now and thickening up some of the line work. I got this new Copic brush pen, which I really wanted to try out, and I had a lot of fun. Admittedly, for this piece, it might not have been the best because it's a bit big, so it was kind of hard getting some of the smaller details, and I feel like some of the shadows I did with it were a bit rough and could have been more detailed. So that's a lesson learnt. I think it'll be a really cool pen to use on bigger pieces, but for a small piece like this, I feel like I could have done a better job. But I was having fun using it, so I just wanted to go with it and see what happened. Again, the whole point of this drawing was to step outside of my comfort zone and try new things regardless of if it worked well or it didn't. Now I'm ready to start colouring with my Copics. I wasn't fully happy with all the shadows I had done, but I knew I wanted to do some of the shading with the coloured Copics, so I didn't want to spend too long doing all cross-hatching and getting all the shadows perfect when I was going to go over it with Copics anyway and hopefully fix some of it up. You might have noticed at the start, I tried to do a bit of cast lighting using a really light blue marker, because originally I wanted to have a blue glow to this piece, kind of coming from the moon, but it didn't really show up well, slash, at all, so I decided to change that to a yellow glow later, which you'll kind of see, and that was a lot more noticeable and a bit more dramatic. But right now, I'm kind of just alternating between two markers, a red and a light pink, and just kind of blending them together. It's a real basic blending technique, but because there's so much shadowing and cross-hatching with the pens and ink, you don't really need too many different variations of the tones of red to get it to work pretty well. At least for a small piece like this anyway. And I've kind of noticed with a lot of the colouring for comic art, it's quite simple. Or not necessarily simple, but minimalistic in a way. There's really high contrast, you've got really awesome dark black shading, and then you might have a couple highlight colours. Obviously there's exceptions, but it's kind of a theme that I've noticed. Really high contrast, minimalistic colours, and it's a really awesome look, so I feel like I can learn a lot from that. I decided to add quite a lot of smoke around Spider-Man to make it feel a bit more dynamic, and smoke is just fun to draw. I definitely could have spent more time on it and shaping it a bit better. I'm not exactly happy with how it looks in the top left of the picture. I was kind of just freehanding it. I roughed it in slightly and pretty much made it up as I went along. If I was working on a special artwork and I wanted it to look really awesome, I would have been more careful with that and I think it would have turned out a lot better. But overall, it still looked okay. You'll see I'm doing a lot of yellow highlights all over the smoke and Spider-Man. And that's to reflect some of the light coming off the moon, which I'm about to colour in a minute. I tried to be careful and not do too much yellow, otherwise the moon was going to start looking like a sun really quick. I don't really have too much more to say about this artwork. I'm just finishing up putting some blue in the background, and then I'm going to do some highlights with a white gel pen. I think I'm just going to chuck on some royalty-free music. Just put that in the background, set the mood, and you can watch the rest of the artwork come together, and then I'll have some final words at the end. So stick around for that, and enjoy the process. It's 
Take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known I will chase the night Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly I've heard it's really good to get some critique on your artwork. I have no friends, so I decided to ask this spider instead. I thought he'd have some good feedback and a pretty valid opinion on my artwork, considering his nationality. I'm just going to hold them up so he can have a good look and then he can choose his favourite. Do you like this one? Or this one? Oh shit! He is alive. He is definitely still alive. That just gave me a heart attack. I don't think he liked either of them. Ah. <sighs> Haters gonna hate. So we're done! I've finished the two drawings. We've got this. Beautiful Spooderman going on here. And then we've got the slightly less detailed, not quite as good version over here. So let me know in the comments which you preferred. Um, obviously this one. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I had a lot of fun doing this. And I feel like I learned some new things along the way. But there's a lot more I want to learn. And I feel like as an artist, I want to expand my repertoire of skills. And I want to try new stuff like this, learn new techniques, and I would definitely like to check out more comic art because I love how they do shading, I love just the boldness of shadows that they use, the cross-hatching, and I feel like I can learn a lot from that. So, moving forward, I want to experiment with new things, not just draw horror stuff, I want to draw some different things as well. So, for you guys who enjoy that, stick around, subscribe, Thumbs up the video and thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.